I would say I was five, six, seven years old when I became crazy of football and it has just uh, followed me since then. All-time best football player, I would guess I am an old-timer. So many of you will not recognize his name, so I would say Kevin Keegan. I grew up as a young boy with as a strong and then healthy Liverpool supporter. Uh, so I would say Kevin Keegan. Gold or diamond? Gold or diamond? Which shall I choose? Uh, I will go for Lionel Messi. Slatan is absolutely the best player we've had in Sweden ever. But I prefer the mentality of Henrik Larsson. Always put the team in front of, of his own performance. Extremely loyal team player. So, uh, uh, Hen Henrik Larsson for me is, is um, the character. I just love the character. My favorite team is in Europe now is Zero. I have become an old guy that eats all the good stuff. I can, um, for example, I can love um, when Jurgen Klopp was in Dortmund. Uh, the counter-pressing, the intensity. I can enjoy the way uh, Simeone is working with Atletico Madrid, that organized low block defense and that the player accepted th their roles. I'm more into that now, so I don't have that, I don't have that uh, team. I'm eating all the good stuff. I started as a youngster six, seven years old. Yeah. It took some years before I, I, I realized that I was quite decent. Uh, so when I was 15, I, I, uh, during more or less the upcoming five years, I played in, in the youth national team that ended up winning the World Cup 91 in, in Portugal, where we played against um, Ivory Coast, Mexico and, and uh, Brazil by uh, one of the, the players in Brazil that time, for you that remember us old timers, was Roberto Carlos. Uh, been playing in top division in Sweden, playing in top division in, um, in Norway, in, my, in, in the end of my career. Uh, but uh, my career ended up by, I snapped my ACL when I was 34. And then, then the transformation to, to the coaching career started. So, it was, a, it was a decent career, took some bad choices when I was young, but who doesn't? I think my coaching career started more or less the last year when I got the injury, when I played in Norway. Then I started to think about the, the transformation, what I'm going to do when I'm finished playing, because I wanted to stay in the environment, I wanted to work with people, if I have the possibility to affect players in a good way to help them to become better. Uh, I just feel intrigued and I just wanted to do that. Uh, so I, I moved back to Sweden in 2006 and I started to, to, to take the coaching education in Sweden. And uh, I tried to rush it as much as possible. I, I got my, my first coaching assignment 2007 as a head coach um, in, a, in a third division team. Then I stayed there for, for, for a couple of years. Um, went to the second division in Sweden, 11 and 12. I took uh, my degree, the pro license, 2012. And uh, but I've always been been looking for for challenges. So that's why I went uh, went away two years in Norway. Uh, I went away a couple of years on, on Faroe Island, both to meet the culture, new people, uh, and the challenges. Uh, we played Euroleague qualification on, on Faroe Island. Those kind of things also, um, I, I want to do that. I want to, 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 to see the challenges. That was also a big reason why I, why, why I came here to, to, to Riti, both to meet new people, uh, the different culture, and, and um, see if I can affect the players in a way that I think is the right way and help the club to be, to be successful. So, uh, I'm just, I'm just loving every day.
to be here, to work with the players, to work with the staff. And, uh, I'm on a really, really good spot in life at the moment.